Hello, welcome to Next Gen Classic Cars of Illinois. We're doing a dealer walkthrough today. You know, come on in, check it out. Um, I got my buddy behind the camera today, so you get a little bit of me, which you probably don't want to see, and a little bit of the cars, which you will see. Better quality camera, you know, it's not shaky. So over here we got the 55 Ford Crown Victoria. It's black with a beautiful white interior with that factory little bit of pearl in there. And they added a three speed in there. Get, get a close up on that pearl. That's beautiful from the factory. Um, they put a three speed in there and it's got the factory 272 motor in it. Nice detail, looks like a pretty factory car. Get that shot of the car going down there, let them see the beauty. This one will be coming available soon. Um, over here we got a 52 Chevy pickup, about 140 miles on a frame off restoration. They finished it in white. The bed is gorgeous, you can eat off of it. And as well as the paint, the interior is gorgeous too. It's got the fat man steering wheel in there, but I got the original one that comes with it. Uh, the original six cylinder motor, three speed manual trans. Uh, so this is basically, you know, where the work happens on the cars, where the cleaning has happened, you know, miscellaneous things that they need. I got a 66 Corvette. I got the 53 Gasser over here, uh, which is a Bel Air hardtop. Pretty unique car to begin with for the Gasser. I got an Austin Gasser over here to the right. The 70 Avenger GT40 replica. It's a one owner car. The one owner built it. 5,000 miles since it was done. Again, I keep some of the nice stuff in here to look at, you know, good eye candy. Uh, and then over here, I got a 66 Chevelle. I'm getting this one worked on now. I'm doing the underneath pictures. 500 horsepower dart motor with Patriot Heights. This is really cool. Um, again, that'll be for sale in a couple weeks. And uh, get, a, get a shot of those mufflers under there. Those things are giant. Yeah, those are monsters. So uh, we're gonna move over to the other building now where I store the cars and um, you'll see what we got out there. I got a couple things outside and uh, we'll go on over, we'll check it out. So come on with me. We're at the new location here where I store the cars, just down the street. 79 Corvette, this is where I keep the three of them that I have. L82, number matching, red leather interior, T-tops. It's a rare non-AC order car, which is pretty unique. Um, I had some a-hole, funny enough, message me saying, oh, what's the RPO number for AC delete? I'm like, it's not AC ordered. So I, I you know, Mr. Whatever, Mr. Know It All's out there. It's not AC ordered. That's the car. This is finished in dark green. It made about 2,000 and some change of that color. So it's the second rarest color of 79. Finished with the tan interior. Um, again, glass tea tops, AC ordered, automatic. And uh, over here, I just got this one in. I got it sitting outside for a couple of days until I get a little bit of work done. 70 Mach 1. 351 Cleveland automatic power steering. I have the Marty report for the car and uh, I bought a couple little things. I'm going to put a spoiler on it. I'm going to put the hood stripes back on it because I guess the guy did a little bit of the work and left it without it. Um, but I'm going to plan on finishing it and making it look like a real Mach 1 the way it should be. And then over here I got the last 79 which is a low mile car with its original dark brown paint and um, beautiful interior glass t-tops again it's an ac car automatic so pretty unique and then we'll go inside the building i only got one thing in here that's not for sale everything else is i got a 66 chrysler newport here you know power steering power brake power top car nice mopar um new paint pretty much new interior And uh, over here, we got a 48 Chevy Fleetmaster. Got a good shot on this one. This car has got such a great look. Uh, six cylinder motor, three speed manual trans again. And um, black with all new black interior. You gotta love it. So the thing is, my dad's been doing a little bit of moving out. So some of his crap has been in here. Stove, some of his parts from his garage and whatnot. Um, I got a 49 Skyline Deluxe here. New paint, new interior, same thing. Three speed, six cylinder motor. Get a good look at this one from here. This one looks nice. Over here, 
Then bad boy, 64 Impala, real super sport. Black, black bucket seats, console, 427, turbo 350 automatic trans. It's got tubular front and rear control arms. Uh, the motor is freshly built, aluminum heads, aluminum intake, which is winner's cap. Uh, aluminum radiator, which is oversized. Dual electric fans. This is my 51 Ford Victoria hard top. First year Ford made the hard top. You see the trophies for the car in the back seat. And again, I know I just recently posted this video, but this was meticulously restored from the ground up. And uh, it looks pretty good. I just posted this one most recently, of course. 69 Mustang Cali car, convertible, sold new in Los Angeles, 302 number matching, power steering, power top, automatic, uh, nice clean car for sure. Um, and then I'm going to relieve Daniel of the camera for one second as I show you what I got over here. 72 Dodge Challenger Rally. This is an amazing restoration of the car. Um, this is the one that is not for sale. The attention to detail of this restoration is incredible. I mean, you see that. I've never seen a trunk look so nice in my life. I've never seen a body so straight in my life. Um, and it's a rare, it's a real rally with the white vinyl top and white bucket seats which is a pretty rare combination with the console. Let me see here. This car is amazing. Um, this will be available in the next month or so. Like I said, you could just tell by looking at the car, even in this poor lighting, unfortunately, that the car is amazing. Um, so, and you know, Mopars are hot. And, um, It's definitely a pretty unique car, for sure. So we'll give the camera back to Daniel here. Thank you. We're gonna go on over here. It goes around the corner. There's still more to see. Well, I got the 61 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88 Convertible. It's a pretty unique car. We don't see too many of those. 394 motor, automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, power top. Finished in factory colors, all new factory interior. And I'll pop the door open actually, get a better look at that. I love the dash, I love the way the gauges are shaped there right behind the steering wheel, including the steering wheel itself. I had a bubble top in the same, basically the same car I then just sold uh, about a month ago. I went to its new home in California, the guy loved it. I can tell you that. And then over here, I got the rest of what I got going on here. I got the 73 VW10. I got the 79 Trans Am, amazing car, mint California car, then Arizona, loaded with paperwork, uh, all original body panels, frick floors, no rust, there's not even surface rust underneath the car. Um, over there I got the 74 Dodge Charger, which is a pretty good looking car for sure, unmolested, 318, automatic, nicely optioned with factory AC. Um, uh, 79 Cutlass Cali, pretty rare car, factory black with black bucket seats. Console, uh, V8 car, 305 Chevy motor, uh, which you don't see too many black blacks. And uh, over here, let me lower this. This is the 48 Pontiac Silver Street Resto Mod, rack and pinion, power steering, four wheel power disc brakes, tubular control arm, custom built. And again, Daniel loves planes. He went to college for. Uh, being a pilot. You did. I don't take it the wrong way. You sit in the car and you look at the headliner. It's like you're sitting in an old airplane. The way they fabricated the metal up there. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a really cool car. You don't see many of these and it's nice to see them loaded with options like this. So you can just get in and go wherever you want. Um, 403 motor, turbo 350 trans, AC. Again, like I said, four wheel power disc brakes and power steering, which is rack and pinion. Um, so it's, it's definitely a pretty unique car. And then over here, I got a 73 Pontiac Bonneville. 
uh, 46,000 original miles, two owner. Finish the factory colors. I love the powder blue vinyl top on the car. It looks amazing. And it's got all of its original interior in it that really looks like new, to be honest with you. A lot of nice preservation on the car for sure. Um, and last but not least, we'll go on over here to the 66 Caprice that I have that everybody seems to like a lot. And I just sold it. Uh, 396 four speed. It's a factory bucket seat and console car. I'm sorry, we're not going to get a good look at this because I got it jammed in the corner here. Um, but if you see, you know, the video is available. Um, maybe if you jumped around that way, you could get a good look at the console, the four speed, and the bucket seats. And probably it actually is sneaking in the engine here. Um, pretty, pretty unique car for sure. I love the way the four speed gives it this muscular vibe. Rather than just being a gentleman's caprice. And then here we go over here. Here's the big block. It also has headers and power steering. So, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, I just want to say we hit a thousand subscribers. And I'm happy for all of you. Thankful for all of you, I should say. Uh, so I thought I would do this. I got a couple other cars that I'm working on that aren't available yet and uh, it's in other locations so when those come you'll see more videos maybe I'll do another one of these if you do enjoy the video leave a like subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching